Oh, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. If you're new here, please do feel welcome. Uh, on today's video, I am going straight away and uh, explain to you what I am about to do. I am going to repaint and redecorate my son's uh, tiny bedroom. It is one of the tiniest room in the house. It is usually like in the UK, the third bedroom is usually just a box room. So you can manage to just fit in a bed, a wardrobe and just a few other bits. And uh, yeah, if you will watch this video, maybe you can have ideas of how you can utilize every uh, bit of space in such a box room and uh, yeah, maximize it to your advantage so that there is no wasted space left especially for a child who is growing and uh, their needs are increasing as you go by. So as you can see, the room is quite cluttered. I am going to declutter. Uh, most of the things that are in the room, I will try to get rid of them, especially the toys. And uh, I am just going to keep the books that he's actually uh, reading and the rest of the stuff. Uh, like the toys which are not being used I am going to get rid of so yeah bear with me as I go through the process with you and uh, I do hope you will enjoy this one so guys everything is all cleared the shelves the books the tv on this side of the wall is all removed the shelving that was here i am going to actually repaint it to gray i have a gray uh paint uh for uh cabinets so i'll be uh changing from red to gray so that it matches with the theme in the room which is gray black and white and then uh the wallpaper is not going to change so that just goes um it's just a matter of painting the three walls rather than four uh so uh the place where the wardrobe is is just the shortest shortest side of the uh, walls so i will be leaving that one for the last and then yeah i'll crack on and uh yeah I will also be painting the ceiling as well as you can see it is a small space is just a matter of two coats and uh, I'll be done until hopefully hopefully fingers crossed maybe uh, next year or two uh, my son has really really made this room messy as you can see it was painted believe me a lot last year so he hasn't really been diligent in keeping his room clean uh, and guys in case you're wondering uh the paint i am using is dulux uh one coat uh i'm not sure if i'll be doing one coat or i will be doing two i will wait to see how it turns out as one coat So guys, uh, the room is painted, my son's uh, room is painted, I just repainted it back uh, into the color that was there which was white, I did just did only one uh, coat, I'm not going to do any more because I need also to paint my daughter's room and yeah, uh, I do have grey hairs, by the way this is my new hairstyle, I did cut my hair so i will try to keep uh, the natural hair but i'll just put the black braids when i'm going back to work but as you can see around the room uh, is the new fresh uh, coat of paint white and then back here we will be putting back the shelf which was uh, red but it's been painted painted gray so uh to just match with the theme and when i'm all done dressed up the room then i will show you how it actually has turned out otherwise yeah we will see 
Uh, so guys, the room is all done. I need to just uh, take you through the tour of the finished room and how it has all turned out. So this is the room, as you can see, uh, it is still all white, but yeah, have a look. The shelves are exactly the same as uh, were here before. The only difference is, as I said before, we uh, painted them gray. Uh, this gray uh, paint, I had it from last year because uh, when we did the DIY renovation in our bathroom, uh, we painted the bathroom cabinet and the paint was still remaining. So I did uh, paint this from red to gray rather than buying new ones, which is a very economical way of even uh, upgrading your house without spending a dime. I didn't even spend on the paint as well because the paint was also left over from last year's renovation. So I have not spent a single cent in uh, redoing and rede redecorating this room. The books were there. The only thing that I've done is I have decluttered this shelving uh, area of, of, of the room. So it's only that which is needed. No more toys, just a few of those that he chose to keep. And the rest, I just uh, put them in the bins so that they go either for charity and some of them, which are already not good uh, for use, they will be going out uh, for throwing out. Uh, I moved, uh, there was the plastic uh, drawer there, which I removed. I put on this end, so that way it's just next to his wardrobe that way i allowed him to have space for him to be able to sit on his bed and play the keyboard of which he's actually learning on his own and uh, soon enough if all things go well i will be putting him through some piano lessons because it's something that he has been really wanting and is keen to go uh so you can see the guys uh the theme of the room is white he likes uh, his furniture black or blue, and he also likes some grays. This one, uh, wallpaper, we put it there last year, and you can see it still has the theme of, it has a little hint of yellow, but it's a New York uh, themed uh, wallpaper, and it does have black, gray, uh, white, and also that bit of yellow. Uh, I didn't buy any beddings for him. Uh, I did buy this rug. This rug I bought it from Ikea uh, for just £10. That is the only thing that I have spent in this uh, room in just giving it that facelift. Uh, guys, if you're looking for ideas to uh, upgrade or just give a DIY decorating ideas for especially tiny kids room uh go for it uh this is my ideas it is a very tight room but you can squeeze quite a lot uh this bed is an ikea bed and uh, i bought it i think two years ago and it has extra storage uh under the bed so we have two those two drawers where he has all his beddings and some of his winter coats and everything like this and this wardrobe, uh, it is enough uh, for him to store all his clothes and all the necessary stuff. And those extra things where he puts his Legos, his dominoes, or his toys that he actually uh, mainly uses. So you can see, guys, uh, it is a small room. It is quite tight, but uh, believe me, it is more than enough for a young man who is growing into his preteens and uh yeah i am happy how just uh fresh paint in a room can give it a new brilliant new look and uh yeah if you enjoyed this video please guys do remember to give us a thumbs up a like 
uh, even consider subscribe so that you do not miss when I post such videos and uh, yeah give you ideas of what you can also do in your own homes and uh, yeah uh, continue this journey with me so guys I am not going to hold you so thank you very much for stopping by and I do hope to see you in the next one